I'm the new Chewy Band the Tough Man, and welcome back to Prison Architect. We're on episode number nine right now, and God knows why we would want to be in this sort of prison. It is going absolutely terribly. The danger levels are not looking great. Our bank balance is looking even worse. We've got nine normal security coming in, though, in 13 hours' time, and that will give us a little bit of money, 4,500. But we really want this thing set up right here and um, we just don't we just don't have the money to be able to do that guys we just don't have the money we need more guards as well because we've got no guards free uh, we've got 13 that need a break we've got two patrolling 10 doing jobs that is absolutely crazy the, the staff room needs moving over into the central area as i've said before uh, i do need some more staff we'll go, we'll go ahead and add oh we just don't have enough <laughs> we just don't have enough guys we just do not have enough death row. Now that is something, guys. It, wh where is this series going to end? Okay, that, that's one of the questions uh, that I get asked. When is this series going to end? What is the end goal of this particular series? Well, it is death row, pretty much. Get death row going. Get people going through uh, death row, and I think that's pretty much where this series is going to end. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm honestly, oh my god, what the hell is what has gone on? Can we just... Can we repair this, please? We've got two... Oh, I can't even afford to repair the goddamn metal detectors. They've gone crazy. No wonder these guys... No wonder these guys are escaping. They're probably bringing spoons and stuff out with them out of the canteen. Oh, my God. They've sort of, like, weed and done all sorts of stuff all over this goddamn floor. Oh, look. We have, however... Found another piece of the uh, of the picture, which is good. Uh, again, can't really do anything <laughs> at this moment in time. We are stuck with the bank balance. We are stuck with no money. Oh, we've got three guards now. Look, eleven need a break though. It's not good enough. It's just not good enough. We can't wait for this money to come in. This is top top priority. Is getting this done here. And I've just realised, guys. This laundry room is not doing anything at all. Do you know why this laundry room is not doing anything at all? It is because it doesn't have any actual things in it. Where is it? Any baskets. It doesn't have any baskets, so we're going to use our last bits of things to get some baskets in there as well. We've found something on somebody. They're in, uh, they're in, in the infirmary. I don't know what they're doing in the infirmary. She doesn't want to be in the infirmary by the looks of things and has escaped out of the infirmary and has got indeed gone back to bed. Such is life. I can't remember what this, this room was going to be up here. This is terrible. Uh, what is this? There are no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. Well, no, because uh, unfortunately Banana has in fact died. Uh, there is no Banana anymore. As uh, Glitch Reaper has said, he did eat a Banana in uh, oh look at this they're on with it now guys they're on with it the laundry baskets are out they go wheeling around they've, they've got to sort of like throw it over the pool table to continue on their journey um but yep yeah, it's it's looking good let's in fact deployment here let's just say medium security is only in the common room do we want to give medium security the job of laundry possibly Possibly, but however, we'll leave it at the moment because Minsec can't actually get to the laundry at this moment in time. Somebody's doing the laundry, I don't know who. Where's the actual. Oh, here we go. Look, max jobs eight. We've got. That's absolutely. It's just rammed over here. We've got 20 jobs in the kitchen going. We're not going to do them because, unfortunately, at this moment in time, our metal detectors are completely offline and uh, are no use to us. Neither use no ornament. We've got five hours left before we get an injection of much, much needed cash of 4,500. Let's just take a look, see how much it will actually take for this. Oh my god, it's just way too much Wongridge, guys. It's just way too much Wongridge, isn't it? How, how much is just this? Well, that's 2,620. Oh my goodness. We can't afford it. I mean, we've got 4,500 coming in to fill up normal security, which is looking a bit lacklustre with people uh, at this moment in time. But we're going to get this filled up. It is going to be nicely filled up. Now, what's happened? Look at this. What is this? There are apparently no cells at all in there. Oh, yeah, because I got rid of them, didn't I? I remember this. 
I remember this, guys. I didn't see a comment, by the way, in the last episode. I did not see a comment saying what on earth is happening with this particular deployment. Why is it all individual like that? Nobody will ever know. In fact, it's time for a shakedown. We're going to do a shakedown. While we're doing absolutely nothing and just wandering around with our thumbs up our backsides, we are going to do a shakedown. We found a shiv. A shank. Shiv? Shank? Same thing. We found booze. We found a jail door. No, we found... Indeed, we found poison. We found shears. Couple of pi Where on earth are they getting these shears? I mean, seriously, where, where? how on earth have they managed to get this? And we found a drill as well. Somebody with just like a power drill. I, I would presume that there's probably no power sockets in these cells. So how, what they're going to do with this, uh, with this drill is beyond me. I never know. Hopefully they'll be able to find maybe the beginnings of a tunnel up here. They're not going to be happy about the fact that I'm actually waking them up. Oh dear. Stuff's going down here. Stuff is indeed going down. I heard something go... Meep. We've not found a lot though, to be honest. We've done alright so far. To say that we've got two metal detectors down, just coming out of the canteen, that is dangerous stuff. We need to be on this. We need to be on this. But, oh, one minute. Yes, look at this beautiful, beautiful money. Unfortunately, we still won't have enough to be able to make this full uh, list right here. But... I think we don't really need this a little bit at the moment. This is the biggest thing that we need right here. This entrance. And of course, this one, which is going to cost an absolute arm and a leg. We just don't have the money to be able to do this, guys. Let's have a look at our finance. We might be able to sell a few more shares. There we go. Look, we've got 40,000. We'll be able to sell some shares now so we can get this prison up and running. We will buy back those shares indeed. Um, and we'll do that as well. We'll get that staff room moved. So we should be able to do this. We don't need this. Once we move the staff room, we will not need this little bit of a of a corridor here. This will be all staff only in the middle there. It's going to be great. It is, in fact, going to be great, guys. Um, we've got massive danger increasing at this moment in time. Massive amounts of danger. I just want all this to be searched. Once all this is searched, we can stop the shakedown, I think. Once these two toilets have been done, there we go. We'll stop the shake down there. We'll try to uh, get this danger level down. They've got serious complaints. What's all this? Why is this all like... Do you know why it is? Do you know why this is? They can't get to it, guys. They can't get to it. Do you know why? Because we don't have a door. We will need a jail door going from here, from this area... I think we'll go from the outside here, look, so that we can get into the security area. Look, they're just, they're all completely blocked. They can do this a little bit. <laughs> they're fine with this. Hopefully they'll get this a little bit done as well. We need this road gate opened. Oh, they're visitors. I thought they were like prisoners trying to get in. Why are they going that way? I don't understand why the visitors... Oh, they're probably going home. They're probably trying to exit. That is, in fact, a jail door. Which is good. They should be able to get through there. In fact, because nobody can get to this, let's actually lock this open. No, none of our prisoners can get to this particular door. They can't get into this area anyway. If they do get into this area, we're screwed. Pretty much. Oh my god, we're finding everything today. We're finding absolutely everything. In fact... Oh, we've improved. We've, we've repaired our metal detectors. We've got the money. We've repaired them. This is great. We will put a staff door just going into here like that. Did that actually work? There. Like that. It does require an entrance. And we will put a staff door just there as well so that it can get into that side. And then all of that should be ready and raring to go. And we should be finally sorted with getting food to our medium security, which are just not eating at this moment in time. They're just not eating at all. I mean, look, there's just no food coming to this place. Just no food. They're just finishing off this these foundations. Just a couple more bits to do. That's our first little bit done. Oh, somebody's screaming. Something, it's all kicking off! 
It's all kicking off in max sec. We've got a couple of unsec unconscious people here. Luckily, our guards are on hand, and there's not that many max uh, max sec medium security around. Oh, we've got the doctor coming to pick up this. It's a gang member. It's a gang member. There's nobody that's died though. We're okay. We've just got a couple of unconscious people. Somebody with a fork. I mean, just eating on top of Charlie Hurdley here. We've got Abby. Uh, um, no, Amaranthine Am uh, Ableman just does not give a damn. I'm not surprised because food. Look at this. Food has finally started to get here. Oh, my God. This is fantastic. We've solved it, guys. We've solved it. Can we sort this garbage out here? Because they can just make a run straight through here. Look. Oh. We've got a problem. We have a problem, guys. We need a brick wall. No, we need to demolish this and this. And we need a brick wall there and there, please, if you wouldn't mind. We need a brick wall. It's just all hell's broken loose over here. What is this? Luckily, she's gone through the metal detector unhindered. We also need a brick wall coming down here and round here as well. We'll have a staff door. I don't know if we need a staff door on this, but we will put a staff door anyway. We'll put a staff door there and there so we can get it from both sides. And they will indeed need... Um, what's this? Sofas, all sorts of stuff. It'll be fine. Right, let's get on with making this. So, we'll have a wide sofa. We'll have a few wide sofas, actually. We'll have this staff room looking, looking large. They can have a couple looking at each other. You know, in case they want to talk to each other. They can do that. Uh, we'll have an arcade cabinet. Just right there. And there, I suppose we could do that as well. Um, what else have we got? A drinks machine. They deserve a drinks machine, to these guys. We'll have a pool table in here as well. There. We do need toilets. We'll have them open. We'll have five, five toilets in there as well. And we need, do need a serving table, don't we? So that they can have some delicious food. From the canteen, uh, from the kitchen, which is right next door now. Look at this. I mean, I think we need more janitors because we're just not, we're not cleaning up. The uh, the entire place is absolutely pants. It is a load of rubbish. How much janit? How many janitors have we got? We've only got two janitors. We we'll best get another four janitors. We've got plenty of money. We'll get some, uh, not another chief. We'll get some more guards as well. Five more guards. Look at that. Look at this. The prisoners better watch out because we're back on it. We are back on this, guys. Let's have a quick look at this. So we can sell the prison for 240,000 minus that 50,000 starting grant that we got given there. But we've got no deaths, no escapes in the past 24 hours, so the safety is okay. We can buy back these shares. We can buy, buy them back. 26,000 it will cost. Of course, we're not in a position to be able to do that at this moment in time. Look at them just bringing all of these uh, sofas through here. It's great. This is great, guys. This is absolutely fantastic. We're finally getting somewhere. Oh, I thought it was, it was touch and go. It was touch and go in that last one. We've got food that started to make its way over to medium security, which is absolutely great. We probably do need a couple more cooks because we're not quite getting there with the amount of meals uh, being made here. Look at this. Where are the janitors? There they are, look. How many cooks have we got? We've got eight. So two, four, six, eight. We need another couple of cooks anyway. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Of course, the showers are going everywhere because the drains aren't actually put in yet in these particular cells. Why have they not been put in? Let's get a drain. So one's in there. The water is going absolutely everywhere. Maybe they were in, but I've accidentally got rid of them by accident. Who knows? Who knows? But look at this. Donnell has not got one. We need all of this sorted out. We've got a couple in solitary here. Uh, we've got nothing in solitary, in fact. These guys just do not have drains. They don't know what life is like with a drain. They're just constantly paddling through their cells all the time, so that's not good. We've got a drain underneath there, so we should be alright on that front. Um, we've got just a toilet in this particular cell. They haven't quite finished the cells. In fact, that's a good idea. Let's go ahead. 
and start cloning these cells. So that we can start getting some more into there. Let's clone this cell as well. Brilliant. That'll be all this side finished. Um, did that have a drain? Yes, it did. Okay, this is good. We've got half of a cell here. Oh, wait. Did we do that? We did do that. Right. This is okay. This is good. That's solitary, so we don't want to get involved with that just yet. And we've got this one up here as well. So we've got a room for a lot more cells going on here. We've got a couple of solitary cells. We've really, the solitary confinement is not great. We've got 29 prisoners due for parole. And nobody... Have we even got a parole office? We haven't got a parole office. I can't believe this. We can't make money from this, guys. If we, if we haven't got a parole office, we can't make money. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Um, so we need to start work on a parole office. Which I believe this particular area right here... It's probably not a good idea for that, for a parole office. We should have it, I think. What have we got deployment? We've got absolutely nothing in this area right here. Um, this is insecure, apparently. It's insecure about himself. It doesn't like it. It's probably because we've locked this door open. We can now lock this. We can now sh stop locking this open. But, there we go. That is no longer insecure. It is, in fact... Secure. We've got no access to any of this in here. Okay, so parole access. I think parole can be up here, guys. I think this can be a good parole, a, a parole room. So let's have a look at parole. Where is parole? There is parole. It's a five by five. We could, in fact, get two two paroles. Oh, god damn it! I wanted them separate. It's just not quite big enough, is it? We've got one parole room, guys. We could have a massive parole room, but I really don't see the need for it. Let's go ahead and build a brick wall. Where does parole end? Here. Okay. Let's build the wall there. And then we'll get just a room with a door. Just a normal door will do. Nothing spectacular, just a door. And then we'll have parole inside there. What do we need for a parole? We just need a visitor table. We don't need anything else in parole other than a visitor's table. And that will mean that we can start getting parole through. We've got three visitors on site. One... Look at this. Look at this. Brilliant. Staff members are exhausted. Seven staff members are exhausted. They've, they've got no lights. We're doing really well. Got no lights in the staff room. I'll have one in the middle as well. We've got nothing in the way of uh, power of anything going this way. So we'll start doing that by dragging this across into the room. We will need a large pipe going this way as well. So we'll drag that large pipe down here. And we'll put a small pipe going all the way across. Okay, so that will be the staff room sorted out. This has not been... Uh, given as a staff room because I know what I'm doing Where's the staff room? Blah, 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 blah. Stop nursery forestry library staff room This will be a staff room this one will not be a staff room anymore no longer can you take your break Come on off with you. We can dismantle all this stuff Where's my dismantle button? Uh, dismantle objects so we can dismantle all of this sort of stuff including the two toilets right there and that will be a spare room just on the side there we could probably demolish that entire area to be fair um, our parole is not getting built why? why is parole not getting built? come on workers oh they're working on the cells okay we'll let you off this once this once we will let you off look at this somebody's just left a laundry basket in the middle of a cell just does not give a damn about the security of these prisoners um, in fact the meals are looking okay at this moment in time I think now we've got a couple more cooks we should be getting better oh we've got some nice little bacon going on there we've probably got some broth as well 
I don't think we've got enough janitors, to be fair. The kitchen is looking spotless. Much, much better. The canteen, not so much. It has to be said. I think we might need a couple more cooks to be able to deal with this. Let's have a couple more cooks in there as well. They can't deal with the cooking. They'll probably deal with the fetching and carrying. Oh my god, we've got stuff going on absolutely everywhere here, guys. I think while they're asleep, shakedown time. We've got room for six minimum security, five normal security, $4,300. It's looking good. In fact, we've got to be really, really careful here because I do believe, look at this, it's all done it again. All of this is just absolutely unacceptable. Why is it doing this? Just minimum security, please, on that front. Will that... Have we got room for five, normal? Huh? Apparently we must have. We'll let them... Oh my god, they've found a whole load of stuff. Parole is still not getting built, guys. Why? Are they still doing the cells? What's this? Needs a bed and a toilet. Alright, they're still doing the cells here, guys. Look at this. They can't actually get in here. I will open it for you. Now they do have drains, so we shouldn't be flooding the entire... Oh, look how beautiful this is running now. Got plenty of cooks. We've got none of 19 guards free. Of course, because the shakedown is going on, so I'm not going to bother too much about that. The workmen need to get in there. Why is nobody on the door server? It's probably because of this shakedown. It's okay. This is looking good. Have we found any, uh, anything in the way of tunnels in these toilets? Oh, they've dragged them out of bed. Look at this. They're not going to be too happy there, but they don't seem that bothered, actually. They don't seem actually that much bothered about it. We've got to keep an eye on this. Got some janitors there trying to get in. Oh. The janitor is, in fact, trying to get hold of all of this stuff. This is good. This is good. We're looking fantastic. We've just got four cells to complete, and then they should get on with parole. Because we really, really do need parole. Let's have a look at grants. How are we doing with uh, grants? So the Reform Through Education Initiative really isn't going to happen because have one prisoner pass the general education course is apparently the hardest thing in the goddamn game. And, of course, I've decided to do that. Brilliant. Um, prison, short-term, tool cleanup. Nutrition, prison manufacturing facility. Produce 30 license plates. We don't want to do that. Have a single local one. I don't want to do that either. Crack down on drugs. Find 10 illegal nar narcotics. We could have done that beforehand, to be honest. But there we go. Tool cleanup. Remove the supply of stolen tools. And remove the supply of stolen weapons. Short term investment, long term investment. Cell block. Raise my capacitor capacity to 100. Very, very nearly there. Let's go ahead and get that grant, actually. Can't believe parole's not on there. As a grant. It's quite annoying. We're very nearly finished now. We've just got a few more places to find some stuff. And we're looking good. It's just three more now. Oh, this is done, so it should be working on parole. Oh, parole is now done! Fantastic! Okay, let us go. Not policy. Programs. Here it is. Parole. Parole hearings. Let's get some parole hearings on the go. Three per day. Okay, that should get rid of the uh, the backlog. There's two prisoners due for release soon, and 33 prisoners up for parole. How does one deal with parole? So the policy, no. Regime, needs, jobs, intake, prisoners, staff. Oh, here we go. Parole cut off. If a prisoner has a reoffending rate less than this value, it will be released at the end of their parole rate. Maximum staff taking a break. 10% of staff can take a break at once. That is not great. But it appears three are on a break, 11 need a break. Oh my god, they're still not getting this done. They've got no access to this, that's why. Um, 
Oh, God damn it. Let's get a jail door here. I've got no access to this part of the prison. That's the only part that's got no access. So if we give a door there, they've got access to this at all times. So that's good. The janitors are actually doing the job. Okay. Well, we've got maximum jobs going on there. This is now up and running. I think... We'll give jobs here. A lot of jobs in the kitchen. That should help. I should be able to get rid of a couple of cooks, actually. Because fetching and carrying could be the prisoner's job. However, we do want... I keep losing it. Every single time I come here for, to try and find one, I can never find the goddamn uh, thing. Is it further down? No, it's not further down. Where are you? Metal detector, there you are. They could get into the canteen. I think we've got to have a couple of metal detectors on either side there. Which means that we do need uh, electrics plumbed up to this. So we should be able to do something like that and it'll be fine. Um, what about our map? Oh, we're very nearly there on the power. Very, very nearly there. We should get lights actually down this corridor. Brilliant. And that should allow them then to finish this and get this all lit up and look in ledge. I do believe. These are all cooks. Actual cooks. There's some just stood around doing nothing and I don't like that. Why are they not making food? So they've got two washing up here. We could do with another look at the state of this. Right, we could definitely do with another sink. Let's get the utilities plumbed in. And that is... Oh no, it's already plumbed in. Look at this, good stuff. See, I definitely meant to do that, guys. Definitely meant to do that. So we've got another sink in on the go, and all of our cooks now are running around like crazy getting this done, which is great. We've got two minimum security coming in. Some, some more money. Look at this. Our cash flow is looking brilliant. We could, in fact, get some more guards. Four more guards on the go. That should allow us to get them on a break, which should hopefully be. So we've got two guards available. Look at this. We're really running on bare bones at this time. So we just need uh, seven more to be able to get up to that 100 capacity. So minimum, minimum security is looking good. Medium security is looking good as well. It's all looking fantastic. We've got enough solitary for medium security. Have we got enough solitary for this? I think what we could do with, guys, deployment's looking good as well. What we could do is another person on this row and on this row as well. So we can keep a really good eye on these guys at all times. Solitary? There's nobody in solitary, actually. There's, a, there's four solitary cells and nobody in solitary at all. This is not too bad. The prison is looking much better. I mean, this isn't good. Why are we not doing this? We're missing this one and this one. Can we please get a very large pipe going on there? And can we please get this going on there as well? If you wouldn't mind. That would be really, really good at this moment in time. This doesn't have power at all, apparently. Okay, that's probably why. So let's drag this through here and up here a little bit so that they can start doing that. Oh, the planning. Let's get rid of that planning and let's get rid of that planning. And let's get rid of this entire planning over here. Like that. Good. Parole is up and running, look at this! Hoo -hoo. And uh, how are we doing on our parole? Well, 32 prisoners are up for parole. We've got the parole officer here and we've got our parole lawyer. There's, no, there's not a third person there apparently. Talking about the clothes, she's really annoyed about the fact that she's... Um, her clothing isn't up to scratch. I don't care. You're in prison. Get over it. But this is looking good. So we need to build a classroom. This is part of the uh, education initiative, and I very much doubt this is ever going to happen. Um, 
but getting up to 100 is probably something that we can do by extending this area over here. And I think we've got enough money to be able to do this without completely skinting ourselves. Look at this. We've got enough money to do quite a lot, actually, on this side. I think that will do. We'll do that from there. Um, we will... We won't actually bulldoze that. I was going to bulldoze this, but I think we'll wait for that entrance to happen. Um, we'll get a jail door in there. Just to give it that entrance so that it actually builds. And then we can demolish those doors and walls and all that sort of stuff. And minimum security is actually going to be quite big. Medium security is pretty small at this moment in time. But we'll do a new medium security wing, probably down here. And we'll have... I don't know, protective custody maybe up here. Because we still haven't done that. We haven't done protective custody. We've got a lot of snitches probably running around here that we just don't know about. And that's something that we need to uh, we need to be... What is this? Why are we not doing this? Why is this not working? This is not being built. Probably can't get to it, that's probably why. Um, can they? No, they can't actually get to that. Okay. God damn it. Yeah, another jail door we will put right there. They should then be able to get to this and this. And there will be no bloody whinging about it. We should have built it better, to be honest. We should have built it better. Well, guys, we have turned this prison around. Absolutely turned this prison around. And we are earning money. We're looking absolutely steady as. We could leave like this. We could just leave it like this and it would be absolutely fine. We've got 12 me members of staff that are exhausted. I think we could, in fact, raise our... Where is it? Staff. No? Policy? Yes. There we, go. we could raise this up to 25%. I really don't want that. What's this? If enabled, prisoners will only be assigned to a cell of a quality they deserve based on their behaviour. Ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. But there we go. Guys, let's go ahead and slow this right down. What have we done this episode? Well, we have saved our prison from total annihilation. Oh, my God. That was very difficult indeed. Very, very difficult indeed. We'll extend that. And we'll extend that right there as well. And we'll just go ahead and... Dismantle the door. We have saved this prison. Without doubt, this episode has been the best episode. We have saved our prison from total annihilation. Our staff room has not quite got the uh, the stuff yet just yet, but we're looking very, very good. We're looking much more balanced. Our prisoners are getting food. They're looking happy. Look, we've got plenty of cooks. No, he's in fact he's pissed off. He's going. He's going to store the ingredients in a fridge. I don't know what he's doing going that way, though. It's beyond me. Um, not quite sure where the fridge is that way. Okay. But never mind. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for the end of this particular episode. We've sorted everything. We have sorted everything. It's looking great. I hope you're enjoying the series, guys. I'm really enjoying this series. I'm really, really enjoying this series. It's been... A long time since I played Prison Architect. A lot of stuff has been added. I'm pretty sure I'm not doing this the most efficient way. I'm pretty sure about that, guys. Don't you worry about it. We'll have to extend quite a few things. We'll have to change a few things as our prison grows. But we're doing well. Until next time, I've been the Softman. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.